Hey guys, welcome back to another Discord tutorial video. Um, I made a how to make your own Discord server in 2019. Um, I'm making one now for 2020. Some things are different. I'm going to explain. Some things are not. Um, but obviously, Discord has updated in a year. Uh, it's, it's no surprise that Discord is updating every like every month at least. Um, even sooner than that, most likely. But Discord is a long story short, it's a chat to communicate with your friends or just have your own community so they can, you know, they can uh, contact you easier or you can get closer with your fans. You know, anything really. You can just host something for people. Done. Um, so to do this, you'll need to have a Discord account. Go ahead. All you need is a password and an email and a confirmation link. Um, you can either use Discord through a browser or you can install a client. I suggest installing the client. It makes it faster. It's so much faster in a browser, uh, especially for low end computers. Um, let's get right into it. So after you've created your account, you would go to discordapp.com or discord.gg. I would bring you to this page here. Um, if you're already logged in, it should say open here and open here instead of register or login. Uh, if you click open, it'll open the browser version of Discord. If you hit download for Windows or download for Mac, whichever you have, then it, you you'd start the process of installing installing Discord. So, as you install, when you install Discord, you'll have to re-log in, and you know that's normal. Um, if you hit open Discord, it'll look similar to this here. You won't have any friends if you're new, um, and you won't see anything here. But once you uh, if you have once you log into the client, it'll look almost like this as well. You can drag it around; doesn't matter. Um, so if you're hosting your own, if you want to get straight into hosting your own server, um, you can go ahead and hit add a server right here. Um, so we'll get in right. We'll get right into that. Create a server. So we'll name this tutorial for now. There we go. This is tutorial. That's me. You can change the icon. I recommend you guys having a like a, an icon that actually follows what your channel is about. Um, let's say you're doing YouTube and my logo is currently my logo. It's that green thing right here. Um, I would put that green thing right here because, you know, people will know it's me. Unless you're a troll and, you know, you do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. It depends what your channel is about. So now you hit create. Bam. It'll open up your friends here. You can invite whoever you want here. Um, we're not going to do that. Now, first thing is first, it should look like this. Um, we won't worry about this right now. I will create a voice channel real quick just for you guys. I'll name it AFK. There we go. All right. So we'll go to click on top of here. Server boost is pretty much like um, people will people who have Nitro can server boost your channel. And the more boost you get, the more benefits you'll get. Such as uh like level one perks you'll have this stuff level two perks you'll have this stuff level three perks this stuff um but some of them is pretty great like the custom server invite backgrounds not bad uh if you're a streamer then this is really not that bad um also these two right here these three right here are not that bad and obviously all these are really not that bad so that's what boosting is that's quite new to discord uh the more people you have the more chances you'll get to boosting so now, uh, invite people, that's not new, it's the same, server settings, it's, everything else is pretty much the same here. So straight off the bat, we're going to go to notification settings here. Actually, no, we'll do the server settings. So click on server settings, overview, logo, like I said, really important, same thing with your name. Um, like, since I'm a YouTuber, I would probably name this, or as my server, as most people know, uh, Mano is like a word special to me, so I use Mano Cord, or it could just be Mano, it doesn't matter. Um, but we're gonna just reset that. There we go. Uh, server region. This is really important for where you are. Let's say you're in Japan, right? You're not gonna go US East, US South, unless that's where your community comes from. Like if you're, if you're favoriting your community, then obviously you pick somewhere where they are mostly from. But if you're in Japan, I suggest just clicking Japan. You're gonna have less, uh, less ping, <coughs> sorry, less ping. Um, because if you're in Japan, you're in US East, and you click US East, you're probably going to get a ping of like 300. <laughs> uh, depending on how fast your internet is. But, yeah, since I'm in US East, I'm going to go US East. Um, so long as we're for server region, the further you are from where you pick, the more lag you're going to get. 
the AFK channel, I made that channel to show you guys this. AFK channel, oh, we'll select AFK, and then we can choose between between one minute and one hour. What this does is when a guy's AFK from his computer doesn't touch any keys or, mount or mouse movements, he will automatically go to this channel so that we don't hear his background or anything. Uh, it's good to leave it to five minutes. 15 minutes too is good. Um, I usually keep that just, you know, keep them, uh, we don't want, they want, they don't want us to hear their background <laughs> and we don't want to hear their background. Um, system messages channel. If this is ticked on right here, it'll show whenever someone new joins the server, it'll say a custom message saying, oh, this guy joined the server. Uh, he's chewing bubble gum, blah, 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 whatever. Um, send a message whenever someone boots the server. This, when this is ticked on, it shows an icon saying, "Hey, this guy is pretty cool because he boosts the server." Bad, 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 bad man. Yes. Okay. Default notification settings. This is really important. I want this. You all should have this uh, only at mentions because I don't like hearing badoop 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 every time I join a server. I've joined so many servers that people were like. You know, people just didn't bother doing this, and all they, all you hear is ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop, especially those high-end servers. Whoa. Anyway, so I, I suggest doing only on mentions. That's done. Hit save. We'll go to roles. Roles are really important. The three uh, is the three. There, there's some common ones. There's everyone. There's uh, let's say member or whatever you call your members for whatever you host, could be music artists, your fans, could be named fans, members. So if you have a custom one like mine, Zors, you know, it doesn't matter. So I'll name one members for now, blue, sure, save. Uh, another one, another important one's moderator. Uh, you know, to keep track of who's swearing in a server so you can delete it or whatever. If it's a rule, if it's not a rule then it's fine. We'll name that that. And there is obviously your role. Mine's gonna be Caesar. Everyone likes to have their own color. There we go. And I'm gonna be yellow because uh, I don't know why. Pink. There we go. All right. So why I put my name over these guys is because if I put this here, obviously they can't control the server owner. But let's say like here, let's say I put members over moderator. Moderator would not be able to delete their message. And um, actually, they might be able to delete their message, but they won't be able to like mute them or anything if they're being toxic in a chat or something. So that's why you want the whoever has higher power put them higher so obviously you're going to be on top and then your ad administrators or moderators can be there and then everyone else on the bottom all right so when this is done to save then you can fix up all these roles um i'll go through them real quick not too i won't talk too long about these display rule some of these are pretty straightforward i won't go through the straightforward ones so this one's straightforward um on the side it'll just say the top like if my members is checked on, then it'll say members and then their names if they're online. Usually I keep that on for all for everything because it looks nice. Uh, allow anyone to mention this role. That's pretty straightforward. If you want people to be able to mention it, go ahead. Administrator, that's a that's a no. Only only administrators or you should be an administrator. This if this is ticked on, everything is allowed. So keep that off for members. Audit log, obviously no. They can view that. Nope. Manage server, nope. Manage roles, nope. Channels, nope. They can't kick members, that's not their job. Ban members, nope. If you want them to be able to invite anyone anytime, go ahead and hit this on. I usually don't, I usually have my own personal link for it. Change nickname, sure, they have a, they're have they a lot of freedom. Manage nicknames, no. If this is ticked on, they can change everyone else's nickname, we don't want that. In manage, man, anything with manage in it, do not let members have it, only administrators or you, doesn't matter. Um, read text channels and see voice channels. I usually take this off because I usually do it in the actual channel. I'll show you after. Send messages, sure. Uh, TTS messages, talk to speak, nope. Or text to speech, my bad. Uh, manage messages, nope. And blinks. Um, I usually keep this off. Only certain channels with 18 plus should be able going there. Should be able to go in there because um, if they send a site and it shows like a picture of whatever, uh, some explicit content. You, you can be at fault if you if you're pretty up there. Attach files. Um, that neither they can send viruses or anything like that. Read message history. Sure. Mention at everyone. No, I don't usually allow that. Use external emojis. Sure. Add, free, add that stuff. Sure. And all this, you can leave it like that. Um, obviously, all this is all you know what you want. Um, I'm not going to go through all these with moderators or anything like that neither. I just want you guys to know what it was. Um, 
Oh, I wasn't done here. My bad. Emojis. You get to create your own custom emojis. You're only allowed up to 50. And animated gifts are only from the Discord Nitros. Uh, so what this is, is like you upload one and then you just name it something and someone can just use it in your server. Uh, moderation. I If you don't want to get spammed, all these are pretty much, you know, point forward. Um, if you're really, you know, strict about your server, go ahead, do that or just that. I usually keep mine on either this or this. Uh, most people do this. You know, not everyone has a verified email. Uh, all right. So, and then if you go down here, you can scan everything. You know, this is all about like, if you want real hardcore protection on your server. Audit, oops, audit log. This is everything I just did. It doesn't show everything like deleting messages and stuff, but it shows like server stuff. Integrations, this is if you're a high YouTube person or Twitch person, doesn't matter. Uh, webhooks, this is if you want to send automatic stuff using like, like when you upload a video, it'll send an automatic uh, message to your, ch your channel that says like, oh, this guy uploaded a video. Your announcements, pretty much. Um, widgets is for like sites and stuff. Uh, I'm not really too sure about this. Server templates, this is new. Um, you get to create your own template. You get to download some off Discord or um, ask people to have their templates and you can send them to them or they can send it to you and you can use it. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you go ahead and play with this a little bit if you want it for your good server art. Some people actually charge money for these type of things, which is kind of cool. But they're kind of too expensive in my book. Like some people charge seven bucks just to create a server. It's like, what? No. Anyway. And server boost status, that's the server boost status. And then you can see all your members, invites, and bans. Alright, so now let's go quick here. Um, sorry about the video being too long. I'm trying to do a complete guide to how to create a server. Stay with me just a little bit longer. If you haven't yet, leave a like and subscribe because why not? Right? Right. Alright, so voice channels. These are called categories. To do that, to create one, just click, right click on this little box here. Not here, right here. Create category. You can name it something like um announcements right we'll have announcements on top obviously and create like caesars caesars youtube there you go so now everything you post in here can go in here and let's say like i want only my moderators to be able to view it i don't know why then you just like no for everyone okay you, you get the idea it's like it's like x for everyone and then go to moderator and then hit no for everyone except for pretend everything is no okay i don't want to waste too much time uh read messages uh, if you want them to not talk in it leave that x and uh read message history just like that so now only moderators should be able to see this uh i'll show you guys about this role thing there you go see it says members on top and then i'm blue now so i'm cool all right um so that's a create category uh what i just did there is by the way was create a text channel if you want to create a voice channel and voice channels here you just click click this still it's like voice channel here i did it with the afk name it what you want you can have like lounge one just like that and then you can like copy it you can literally clone it you can literally just say who you want inside like if you don't want everyone to hit all these x's and then just have members in it Right, everything is pretty the same as what I just uh, explained in the server settings. And uh, what usually happens is you would create your own rules channel, your notifications, announcements, whatever. And then you would have a text channel to have people talk to, like talk anywhere. And then you have a separate text channel if you allow 18 plus stuff, explicit content. You have a separate channel just to say like, oh, not safe for work zone um, to do that. You would create one. I'm gonna name mine off topic. Then you hit the channel here. NSFW channel, hit this, save, and bam. And then next time you go in it, it'll ask you it'll ask everyone, oh, it might have adult content, blah blah. Are you sure? You hit continue, yes, no, whatever. Pretty straightforward. In these type of channels, I usually let people send pictures, send uh, links and stuff, memes, whatever. Uh, you can have your own meme channel as well. Everyone likes memes nowadays, so, you know, send your own memes here. 
um things to keep your server going um i have a separate video for that but uh, that this is pretty much how to uh create your own your own uh, rules uh server my bad so just a quick pointer um for announcements or wherever you want to play something you would create channel you want your name rules every channel should have rules you know type in your channels here um uh, your rules here doesn't matter and then you would create your invite here what why because whenever wherever you create your invite that's the first page you're gonna see so let's say to create an invite you hit create invite right here and then make sure edit make sure it expires never and no li no limit so you generate the link copy the link and then put it somewhere just like that and um and yeah and then when you click join it'll bring you straight to the server right here um just a quick test here i'll go uh, in this channel here join the server put put that bam now i'm in the rules so the first thing they're going to read is rules um so in my opinion that's that's the first pages that see just because you want them to follow the rules right so this is pretty much the basic uh, way to make an ultimate server um obviously it doesn't look like this like you can make it look like mine here it doesn't matter um, I have my bots, bot stuff here, got self-promotion here, my voice channels, you know, chat, everything is categorized, rules here and stuff. So, that being said, you can make, you can do so much with your server, create your own templates, um, or you can get some templates from other people. Um, if you need any help, make sure to contact me, I have, my name is Caesar0082. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys, uh, hope this helped you guys. And, um, I wish you guys luck with your servers. Um, another pointer is make sure to add some bots to your servers. It always makes people happy. Such as mine, I have all these bots here. Um, yeah, you got, like, two game bots. This little cool bot. Anyway, if you guys need some help with bots, I made lots of bot lists. Um, feel free to go check them out. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, as usual, I enjoyed you guys watching my video. Make sure you join my Discord channel. The link is in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.